the best way I know how to share this exhibit with you is to really just read something that I wrote about three paintings in particular that are in the exhibit. It is 2020, the beginning of a pandemic. Trauma is beginning to stir in my home and in my body. It is working its way up and into my mind, the mind that wants to go mad. I am a mother. I am a monumental first step in mental health for future generations. But tonight, I will crouch. I will lie. My body tucked into itself. I am holding tight so I do not fall apart. In a moment of solitude, I find that single moment of peace. I restore my emotional center. Despite the disarray I am living in, I am holding, I am holding myself. I am holding the future. This is called, I am many things at once. I may be your girl, your daughter, your wife, your mother, your sister but none of these descriptions fit me, even just a little. I am too big a presence to show you just how expansive I am. I could crush you. I am a bitch, a witch, an authoritarian, and a healer. I have been more things than I can ever mention, perhaps more things than I can keep track of. I have crafted great lies, built an empire, fed the hungry, walked a million miles, if only to help one meaningful soul. Call me clever, insecure, sinner. But remember, I am many, many things all at once. So this painting is called A Sister Among Many. This would be the last painting I completed in the series, and it's also the largest. A sister among many. The sister among many sees her reflection in all living creatures, but identifies fully with none. She liberates herself from all ideas about herself and all ideas that were never hers to begin with. She releases herself from needing to find new ideas about herself. She declares separation from all outside governing parties to determine her worth and her responsibilities. She is willing to walk alone knowing that she is never alone. She is a sister among many. I started Blur because I was at the end of a community project uh, with the Nevada County Arts Council called I am here, and it was about how do women in a rural community find a sense of belonging. And as I started to work on that project, I could feel like every part of my body bristle around all things woman. And I realized that I actually have gone through most of my life really just resisting and, and rejecting, kind of just feeling this bristly thing around all things woman. So what I did is I just decided to lean into it. So the video came in because I was, I was already asking people to send their photographs in uh, prior to the pandemic. Uh, for images that resonated with what it meant for them to be a woman. And then when the pandemic happened, I found like that I was in my studio really uh, isolated and did not have the availability to go out and have these conversations publicly. So I set up this, uh, these one hour interviews with anybody that would do them. Um, I'm not interested in vetting uh, who I talk to. I'm more interested in talking to the most diverse group of people I can. And so I did Zoom interviews. And so that was the basis of, uh, like, informed a lot of the paintings. I then edited 
and recreated a new piece of work, which was which I would call an art film. Um, you will get married. You will produce children. You will care for your parents. Being a woman is whatever the fuck you want it to be, because guess what? You get to decide, and that's the great thing about the 21st century. What identified me as a woman is I have boobs, which I'm very proud of it, and I have a vagina, which I'm very proud of it. So cisgender so I've never particularly questioned whether I am a woman or not but so much of my identity is about where I experience oppression. It means it me equals power to me I feel very powerful being in a feminine body. Introduce me to the concept of a non-binary identity and that resonated a lot with me but then it started me on this this path of, of thinking about my own expression of femininity. Yes I can run the world, I can have any job I want, I can do anything I want, and then and I have to work doubly hard for that because I'm a woman. So my color palette is uh, mostly gray, and the reason why I chose that is I really wanted to move away from anything that reflected like uh, gender uh, relationships that we have to, uh, to our ideas about gender. So. I very specifically used gray in almost every piece. It is, it, it is chosen on purpose. I guess for me, good art asks more questions than it answers. And um, I hope that that's what I'm able to do with my work. My viewpoint is I'm interested in being provoked to think. And that intersection between where we are affected or the way in which the world causes us to reflect, change, and evolve, that that is really interesting to me. So I feel maybe the best way to say it I, is I live by a mantra. The best teacher, the best leader, the best art that you will ever have is asking the right questions. It is in the question that true evolution happens. And so, I mean, I know that's kind of woo-woo, but that is, my, that is my take about the art world and why, what I'm doing with my work and what I'm interested in in other people's work. I wanna feel.